Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Laniz, aka Melanated Mouseketeer. I post travel, Disney, and lifestyle content, so if that's your vibe, click subscribe. Today is Monday, April 22nd, and I am doing a pack with me video. It's just after 7.30 in the morning. I woke up unexpectedly early today. I woke up like an hour earlier. I do have work at about 8.30. I work from home. Um, so I thought, you know what, I am so busy this week and I don't think I'll be able to really find a pocket of time to do this pack with me. So I wasn't really going to do it. And then because I woke up this morning, I was like, you know what, let's do it now while I still have some time. All my little early morning chores are done. So yeah, we're going to do a pack with me. I am going to Tampa this weekend um, from Friday until Monday. So we get there at five-ish or six on Friday. Uh, I think it's like the 26th. And then our return flight on Monday the 29th is around like five-ish, but we have to leave there like 2.30 to get to the airport. So I would say it's like a solid good three days in Tampa. One of my best friends, uh, she was one of the maid of honors at my wedding. She's actually getting married this June in like the, not Key West area, but like north of it, Isla Morada. And she's also having her bachelorette in Tampa. So <laughs> it's a lot of, you know, travel within a short period of time, but I will never say no to a trip to Florida, right? And obviously you want to support my bestie. So uh, we are doing a bit of a mixed theme. The Airbnb that we're staying at is Barbie themed, which is why I'm wearing a Barbie themed shirt. Come on, babe, let's go party. Um, her future sister-in-law got us all matching travel day t-shirts and hopes the bride her says, come on, bride, let's go party in white. So very excited. I thought I would wear this for, you know, festive look for the pack with me. And then the other main theme though she wanted was last splash. So very like mermaid-esque, uh, very beachy, you know, like her last splash in the ocean before she gets married. Um, so there's going to be a lot of those tones as well, or a lot of that theme as well. Anyway, I decided to kind of just like do this intro before I get into the pack with me. This was the only place I had great lighting this early in the morning. Um, and I didn't want to do it upstairs because upstairs where I usually do my pack with me is a huge total disaster, a huge mess, has not been clean since my wedding in October. It's just been terrible. Uh, last thing I wanted to <coughs> say before I get into the pack with me, I do have an unedited, like untouched, unfinished uh, vlog from Disney um, for Festival of the Arts back in February. I just haven't had the motivation to edit it or anything like that. It was only a day's worth of footage. Um, it was It's a lot of footage, but it's a day's worth. And I will get it up eventually. I know by then it'll be outdated, but I just... I don't know, something in me just hasn't really like wanted to edit it, but I do want to get out there because there's a lot of good stuff in there. Um, and hopefully by the time it gets out, maybe you guys will be missing Disney and you want to see what Festival of the Arts is about so you can plan your next trip there or get you excited for Disney in general. I don't know, but it'll come out eventually. But right now it's going to be the pack with me video. I'm packing a carry on suitcase as well as a backpack. Um, I've been packed since like March. I've been starting to like gather and pack things, um, but I'm pretty much packed. I just have like my little things, like my toothbrush, certain electronics that I need to pack, my wallet, things like that. Um, but I got pretty much everything and I'm bringing a lot of things considering it's a bachelorette and my luggage is actually holding a lot. I'm kind of surprised. Um, very excited to dig in, so let's go ahead. All right, I've changed, I guess, locations here. I just want to sit down, honestly. Um, so I'm by the window, so if this is like really harsh, terrible lighting, I do apologize. Let's just try to bear with me, okay? Uh, again, this is like unplanned. <clears throat> so I'm packing, or I'm bringing my Mickey backpack that I bought last year, January. This thing, it feels like it holds a lot, but then it also feels like it doesn't, but I am also an overpacker. Um, so <clears throat> I'm gonna try to go through this quickly. I always attach like hand sanitizer to the zipper, just so I know it's there. I just bought this umbrella from the dollar store. So it's not gonna be the best umbrella, but I lost or the one that I last had broke. Um, so I needed an umbrella just in case. And I, didn't, I really didn't wanna spend a lot of money on one because I do have one somewhere else in this house. I just have to look for it. And also I had this, um, 
this small, I think it was like 10 ounce uh, compact like water bottle. Um, it's like a ceramic one and it was like uh, splatter painted on it. I usually bring it up to Disney with me all the time. Couldn't find it for the longest. Bought this at DSW. It's collapsible so it expands and collapses. Perfect for travel. Found the paint splatter one at Hope's house. Um, so I'm gonna get that this weekend but I'm gonna bring this one anyway because um, it expands so it's gonna be able to hold a lot more liquid in there and then in the front pocket I have two loose hair ties and I have a lot of my like travel size liquids in here so some of this is like um <clears throat> like facial mist like for when it's warm like especially in Florida it's been in like the 80s now so when it's that hot I do like to like miss myself with facial spray the Mario Badesco uh aloe sage and orange blossom so it's the orange one um and then I also have like facial cleanser I have like hair um product um like moisturizer I have body wash, sunscreen, um, I've got body lotion, hair mousse, perfume, um, downies, like wrinkle release. So <clears throat> a lot of that just like travel size bottles I have in here. I figured it was just like the best place to put it because I'm kind of pressed for space. Um, this is my electronics pouch. I absolutely travel with this like all the time wherever I'm going on vacation. Um, so I have like, um, I forget what this is called, but like you plug it into the wall and it gives you extra space to plug in extra things. So these are the prong outlets and then they have the USB outlets as well. Very good if you have like a lot of electronics to charge. This is a newer electronic case that I got for my Disney trip, I think in February. Um, so this is holding some portable chargers. So I got my fuel rods and my other portable chargers. All of my um, like additional charging cords are in there. I got this fan from Sheen for $2. It's got one speed on there. It's battery operated, so it's not the best, but it's $2 and it actually has like a good powerful speed. I have a phone protective case so that you could put it over your neck and bring it with you. <clears throat> Not to go deep diving or anything, but like just in case you want to film yourself like near a pool or near an ocean, you want to have a little protection there, right, with your phone. So you put this in there and it gives you just enough to stand in the ocean or in the pool or, you know, kind of dip your foot in there or whatever. Um, I have AirPod dupes because AirPods are, I think, like $100, um, maybe a little bit more. And I couldn't afford that right now so I wanted these and these were I think like for anywhere from 30 to 60 dollars I, I forget how much I know that's like a, a large jump but these are from Amazon um had a gift card to use so this ended up being like 12 dollars for me um I will try my best to link that in the description box below in case you're interested uh, maybe one day I'll work my way up to actual AirPods, but those I have been using for the past couple of weeks now when I go grocery shopping or I do my errands and they have been perfectly fine. So hopefully they last at least until after the trip. I have another like USB extender. Um, so even this like could go into this. I mean, probably won't be needed, but I have quite a few USB um, things that I need to charge. So I wanted all the extra help I can get. And then I have, um, these are like the picture, the automatic picture taker. So you, it's um, it works with Bluetooth with your phone and you could just kind of hide this in your hands and keep clicking the buttons on there to take multiple pictures with your phone or video, whatever you want to do. Um, so I think it's very helpful because there's a you know group of us of five and in case we wanted some pictures, I could prop my phone up to my uh, tripod, which I have right now, and just, you know, snap away, and then we can get those big group photos without needing to ask anyone or do like a timer. Um, in this like sheen bag, I have like a lot of hair beads since I have like fa uh, faux locks in my hair. Um, so I haven't put beads in them just yet, but I might do it either the night before or the day of, whatever I wanna do. So these are some extra hair beads. I have lots of baseball caps. Um, Four of these are for us girls. So like this one is mine. It's like a hot pink denim kind of 
uh, material and then there's two light pink ones and then another hot pink one but it's a like a slightly different material than this one but you know we're going to the Barbie Airbnb home right so I wanted like hope wanted a lot of like pinks for that um, this is gonna be for the beach though there's one day where we're gonna be in the beach for several hours and um, I don't know what all the girls are wearing for like their bathing suits. She said for us to just like wear vibrant things. So whether we wear this at the Airbnb or the beach, whatever, I thought we can get a really fun, um, photo, like group photo with that. And then I also picked her up two brides hats. So I got this trucker hat with like a colorful rhinestone, um, bride front. And then I got like a black denim bride one and she loves <laughs> I feel like she really loves like just baseball hats. She loves black. I feel like this was very much her style. She has one black and one white bathing suit. So I think one of those will be perfect. Um, I also have like party veils to match. So I have like one white short party veil to match with the white one or whatever she wants to do. And then another one in black. So I went all out for her. <laughs> I'm very excited. She's getting married. She has been with her fiance for like 14 years they've been dating since high school um so it was just a matter of time uh this my stepmom my stepmom my mother-in-law bought this for me like for christmas years ago and i never really used it i used it to house things in my like just at home but i never really traveled with it and now i feel like i need to because it's very like nautical themed in my opinion very reminds me of like water and I don't know it's like a cool travel pouch this is all of my beauty stuff so usually i have this like mickey and mini like beauty um pouch but i switched all that out and put it in here so i'll have like all my makeup i've got all my hair ties i have um a loofah like for taking showers in i got this from five below and it's so cute it's like a little seashell i have an anti-shaping like stick which i usually don't need anymore I used to shave really bad I don't know why I don't anymore I usually wear like biker shorts or something to uh take that away but I'm gonna be wearing dresses um this trip so I just brought this just in case and then just like some makeup remover um body wipes I also have facial masks and I have some acrylic nails because I do not get them like done professionally at the salon anymore i like to just do uh, press-ons very easy good for my nail beds this is my emergency kit excuse me and this will have like extra sunscreen um this will have like your hydration packets with the powder you put in there and it's great for like hangovers or just for some electrolytes um i have ointments first aid kit advil things like that never know what you're gonna need band-aids and then this is going to be like my travel backpack um, for the airport. It's a see-through one I got again by below. And this will have um, my, I have these like Barbie earrings that I'm going to put on that day from Sheen. I don't want to take like everything out, but they're actually very cute. So there's this, these big bees. And then I have extra hair ties, chapstick, um, I have Sour Patch gummies that I got for Hope um, as a snack, but they're like naughty shaped. And then I have extra hand sanitizer, um, breath mints, a pen, hand lotion, you know, typical like travel day items you'll need. I have this book that I'm bringing. This is The Neighbor Favor. I'm actually really loving it. The chapters are very long. They're like 20 pages each, which I'm not like a book connoisseur. I don't really read that much. So that might not sound like a lot to you. But for me, I usually read chapters are like 10 to 15 pages. So 20 pages for me. I'm like, can we get to the next chapter? Um, but it's very good. And I like to promote like, you know, um, authors that are people of color. Um, so this is a black um, novel, but I enjoy it. It's this like nerdy girl who her favorite author she gets to meet online. And then a Nate, she, I think, a neighbor moves into her building and she doesn't realize it's him so it's very very cute i think that's it in this part so now we're gonna move on to the suitcase okay so i have about um maybe 25 minutes to get through this i don't think it'll take that long but i do like to jabber uh but this is the suitcase that i always bring it's 
sized enough that it's approved to go in the like overhead bin in the plane it's the iFly and rose gold i want to show you quickly my i forget what it's called but it's like your 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 suitcase tag whatever your luggage tag yeah and it's office themed it's stanley with his hilarious face boy have you lost your bag because i'll help you find it <laughs> and if you're an office if you're an office fan uh then you'll understand that but this was quite expensive this was like 15 dollars, and i know that's ridiculous but um i fell in love with it from like i think it was like an ad from somewhere and then i saw the price and i was like i really should not but i did because <laughs> i love the office it's my favorite show in the world okay so she looks packed she is she's packed to the brim she is she's very packed um so we're gonna quickly try to go through this i pretty much have all my clothes packed here i don't think i really need to even like my undergarments and socks and stuff like that's packed in here so that's in this pouch i'm not gonna obviously show you but like that's my bras socks underwear um any shapewear that i need that's in here this has all of my like bathing suits i'm bringing I think this has three bathing suits the day before we leave for florida so this coming thursday night um i'm staying over at hope's house she has another friend that's coming to stay over and then i think her sister her future sister-in-law will be there i don't know if she'll sleep over but we're all gonna have like a little hot tub party because hope has a, a nice hot tub and we're just gonna start kicking off the vacation so i have my bathing suit not in here for that but i have one for that and then i got three extra ones for the trip I have all of my athletic loungewear, like my biker shorts, my um, nighttime shirts in there. And then this has the rest of my outfits. So I really kind of don't want to show like every single thing, but I want to show like a couple. So one night we're going to go like club hopping, lounge hopping, whatever you want to call it, um, partying. And she wants us all to wear different shades of pink. We have not coordinated who's wearing light pink, who's wearing hot pink, whatever. Um, I personally would rather wear hot pink. It just goes better with my skin tone, in my opinion. So I have a fringe set, literally exactly like how I wore to my bachelorette party last year. Um, it's just in pink and it doesn't have any straps for the top, but I feel incredibly comfortable and sexy in this. I mean, this goes like that. It looks really great. And then I have the matching bottom and it's just so much fun it's so vibrant so cute so i do love this one however i've also fallen in love with this sequined asymmetrical dress and i don't want to bring this one out but it's from fashion nova it stops like kind of like right here so it's short um and then it kind of swoops up and has the one thicker strap here and then it you know it's asymmetrical and it with the right shapewear chow this looks great but I would have to wear shapewear for it and it's a little tighter. I can move around it and stuff, but I feel like if I just want to go for comfort, I will wear this. If I want to go for hot and sexy and stand out and wow, I would go for this. If I cannot decide which one I want to bring, so I'm bringing them both because my mind changes like that. And if I leave one of them home, I will regret it for sure. So I'm bringing those. I have a lot of cute rompers and sets that I got from Shein. Um, we have a nice brunch planned. We have just like a separate night out in Tampa planned, shopping planned. So I have like a different couple outfits to choose from. This is like, I don't know if I'll wear this. This is like a strapless, knee length, um, kind of A-line dress. I never, ever, ever wear purple. So I'm shocked that I like this. But when I first tried it on, it like hugged my chest really well which never really happens and then the rest was just kind of like um non-form fitting so it i felt great in it and now every time i try it on it's like i'm not really sure if i like this but i don't know how dressy the brunch will be so if it's going to be like everyone's going to be dressier i'm bringing this so you just never know <laughs> i want to blend in with everyone um this is like my favorite thing ever i got this from shein as well for 12 dollars, and this is like this clear clamshell purse with like a pearl strap it also has like another bigger pearl strap inside and i absolutely love this this is gonna go with all my outfits let me scooch down here it's gonna go well with all of my outfits 
because it's transparent so um i want to say even the trimming on this is like it's like a light gold or rose gold i can't really tell i love this thing so this houses my jewelry for now um and then i have some like diablo sauce packets in here because i'm ridiculous <laughs> um so pretty much all my jewelry is in here and then like a hair clip and then i have this one outfit i'm gonna actually just try to put it on the screen so you can see it um but it's this like iridescent denim kind of situation going on it has very thin straps on the top the middle part of the top kind of look, looks like a clamshell in my opinion and then you got like a midriff a midriff gap between the top and the shorts I look absolutely banging in it. I didn't think I would, but I do. And I plan to wear that with my um, see-through backpack and these shoes I'll show you in just a second. Um, if we like go shopping or if we're going out, you know, in Tampa, just to hang out, um, that's my outfit idea for that. So these were the shoes that I'm talking about. They are these platform wedges. They're like maybe like two inches maybe three inches high, I'm not sure. And then there's like clear straps that go just all across the shoe. I usually don't like shoes that show all toes unless I'm wearing like flip flops. These are extremely comfortable. I've had them for a good two years now. And I mean, they just go well with everything. So I'm gonna bring those. I'm, I'm even wearing those for when we like go out partying and stuff with my hot pink outfits because you're not gonna catch me in five inch heels at night. I'm sorry, it's not happening. Um, I got some loose like, towel clips for your beach towel so you can put them on your chair and then you won't have to worry about it like flying away or anything i got this inflatable mermaid tail from target for three bucks because it's lash splash themed um the airbnb does have like an above ground pool i don't know if they have like any floaties or anything like that so i, I knew i definitely wanted one so i got one just in case and i do have balloon pumps with me as well i got hope a like blow up doll it's not like it's not really inappropriate or anything it's just like the doll has abs and its face has her fiance's face on it and i'm not going to show that to you right now but um i think she'll get a huge kick out of that i'm bringing these sandals these are from fashion nova i believe they're like rose gold uh chrome bottoms and then the stones on top they're just very like colorful and you can even tell like it sparkles it's so pretty it'll go with absolutely almost everything i have as well i'm bringing just like basic flip-flops and then i think these are like mini inflatable um cup holders she wanted those as well and then i have this letter board that i made for her hope's last splash i made this a while ago and then I'm also bringing this board game. It's called Drunk Tank, I think. Yeah, Drunk Tank. Um, I brought this with me to Atlantic City for my bachelorette, and we played this on the beach. It was so much fun. Just prepare to drink. If you, like, want to get wasted at home, that's the game for you. It's really fun. Whichever you land on, it's kind of like Monopoly, and uh, but it's like a racing game. So, like, you have your little pieces and whatever you land on, you might have to arm wrestle someone, you might have to take a shot if you like are the only person with blue eyes in the room, certain things like that. So it's really fun. And then I have some naughty straws in there, which I won't show you. Um, and then those party veils I talked to you about are in this separate pouch. I also have um, sashes for us for when we go out. So one of them says like mermaid, bra uh, mermaid Barbie, mine says weird Barbie. Hopes says President Barbie, um, you know, so I have those in here and I have little umbrellas for our drinks. Um, I've got temporary tattoos and I have an inflatable beach ball for her as well. And it's customized that says like her name, her fiance's name and her wedding date so that she could use it for her wedding as well since it's going to be in Florida at a beach resort. So yeah, that's pretty much everything. Again, like I have some loose things to put in here, which won't take up any additional um, space. But, you know, I have like my hair bonnet for when I sleep at night. I have an extra fake nose ring I wanted to bring. Um, again, my wallet, um, any extra chargers. So. so now you get to enjoy me struggle to close this again and have fun. I am so scared this is just gonna rip one day, knowing me that 
knowing my luck, that'll probably happen. But she is closed, so that's good. I am so glad I did that pack with me. I have exactly 20 minutes until I have to log in. So that was perfect timing. One other thing that I forgot to mention in here that I want to share is I follow um, this girl on YouTube. Her name is Brianna Tata. She's not like a huge YouTube star or anything at, by any means, but she has a good following for the amount of time she's been on YouTube and she's mostly like Disney and travel. But she inspired me to create this like prep and pack with me list on like my iPhone notepad. I always do, but not as extensive as hers, not as organized as hers. She showed me hers, I was like, my goodness, that is a lot. But I'm a lot and I'm very extra, so I pretty much copied hers. Of course, I like customized mine and I follow that thing to a T. Any like little like thing I po that pops in my head that I forgot to like get or that I need to pack or that I need to do goes right into that packing list so that I think maybe like this Wednesday or Thursday morning whatever whenever I get to do it like I just open that list and I'll know to do that throughout the day and I'm going to insert it here but that is the list and it came in handy so much that's why I like everything I feel like I, I'm not gonna forget anything. It's all packed away in there. So that is the end of this pack with me. I feel like that was a lot longer than I wanted it to be, but I hope you enjoyed every minute of it. I hope it inspires you when you pack for your next vacation. Again, I'm only going for like three days, so that seems like a lot, but I am bringing a lot of bachelorette themed things for the bride, um, extra outfits because you just never know the vibe of the day. You don't know how I'll be feeling. I am a girl. I like to, uh, you know, feminine girl. I like to, you know, have options. I can't just like box one item into one category and that's it. Um, so definitely bringing a lot of extra things that I don't necessarily need to, but it all fits and I'm very excited. And I also need to bring like some snacks with me for the plane, things like that, but I'll be fine. But guys, that's the end of the pack with me. So thank you so much for watching. Again, if you enjoyed it, please give it a big thumbs up. Comment down below, what was your favorite thing that I showed you? Because I still am just so obsessed with that clamshell purse. I also just love like the bachelorette things. I'm really excited. I can't wait to see her face. Oh, I forgot to show you because they were in the board game like game just to save some space. I got the group um, heart-shaped sunglasses. I got Hope these heart-shaped glasses. Um, well, I didn't get her. I got like my my bridesmaids heart-shaped glasses last year for my wedding for the beach. Um, theirs was black, mine's was white. She's just gonna bring her black ones. And I got the rest of us like different shades of pink. Um, so those are from Amazon. And yeah, I, th I think that's pretty much it. I'm really excited. I need this trip so bad, you guys. I'm working 10 hour shifts today, tomorrow and Wednesday, and then a regular eight hour shift just so I can have a long weekend off, but it's gonna be worth it. Um, we come back very late Monday, and then I always have Tuesdays off, so I'll just have that Tuesday off as well. I just wanna work tomorrow so that I don't have to take a lot of PTO off, because I'll need it for her wedding in June. Miss Thang wants to have a week-long wedding getaway in Florida, but really excited, and I cannot wait to take you along. I don't know if it's gonna be like strictly like a TikTok thing for this bachelorette thing, or if I'm gonna vlog, I have to ask Hope what she's comfortable with me doing. So if it's gonna be like a TikTok vlog, um, definitely follow me there. I'll link my handle um, in the description box below. I think it's Lenise K. Um, but if it is going to be a vlog, definitely don't forget to subscribe and see how everything came out. Um, you'll see just like everything set up for The Bachelorette. You'll see what we get to do, what we have planned for the whole time we're there. See everything in action. We are staying mostly in the Tampa St. Pete area. We're not going to Clearwater, I don't think, but I am so excited. I, I know I keep saying that, but it's because I really am. Um, I haven't been in beach weather since August of last year, so this is very much needed. All right, guys, thanks again for watching, and I'll see you in Tampa.